Hey guys, this is Jojo. So I used to have a holy grail video up on this channel, but it was filmed using my iPhone, I think. So I figured I would refilm one with like an actual camera and a light. And also because a lot of my favorites have changed. So I'm just gonna go and begin. I don't have a favorite primer, but um, I have like a pile of shit just sitting next to me on my couch. But I have two favorite foundations. Um, normally I won't really wear foundation unless I'm taking pictures of my makeup for my Instagram or whatever, or going out at night. Um, but other than that, I don't really wear foundation. I'll just wear concealer and powder. But when I do want to wear foundation, I wear two different ones. Uh, this one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is like pretty popular. It's like the best full coverage foundation. Um, and it's quite full coverage. But because I am the palest person on the planet, it's like way too dark for me. This is the color Cool Bone, which is the lightest color money can buy. Not light enough for me. Focus. So I mix it with the Illamasqua, Illamasqua, don't know, skin base foundation. I basically just wear these because if I'm gonna wear a foundation, I want it to be full coverage. So these are quite full coverage. This one is like 50 something dollars from Sephora. I'm like fucking shoot me in the head. And they don't sell Illamasqua stuff in North America anymore, which is really genuinely upsetting to me. So I had to order this from their website and they're UK based. So when I see a UK price, I basically just double it and that's the Canadian price. This is like 30 something dollars on the website. And so I see like 30 something and I'm like, yeah, that's not bad. And then I remember it comes out to like basically $70. So this tiny little bottle of foundation, which is just a white, a, a white mixture that you can mix with other foundations to make them lighter, like $70. That's what my life has come to. So for powder, um, I have one powder that I probably will never use anything other than this because it's just the perfect color and perfect amount of coverage for me. It's the Sephora um, 8 Hour Wear Mattifying Compact Foundation. It looks like this and it usually comes with a sponge but I lost it because it's me. It's really pink, like a lot of powders are very yellow and this is very pink which matches my skin. I'm very- I have pink undertones. And a lot of drugstore foundations I find are very yellow. Fa or powder foundations, powders, whatever. This one is like a pretty good coverage, so if I am going out and I'm not wearing foundation, which is normal pretty much every day, I'll just put this stuff on and it's mattifying but not drying and it like covers- it just like makes my skin tone look a lot more even. Skin care? Okay. Um, I guess I'll just talk about my Clarisonic. I'm in love with this thing. It's still slightly moist from yesterday. I just wash my face once a day. I wash my face at night. Um, I take my makeup off with something I'll show you next. And then I use this. I don't really have a favorite cleanser. Right now I'm using moisturizing cleansers because it's winter and my skin's really dry. But I'll just use like any moisturizing cleanser with this. Um, I have the long bristle head on it right now, which is just like really, really gentle and it's for really sensitive skin, um, but it still gives you like a pretty deep clean. So it makes me feel really clean, but also keeps my skin from being too, like it's not too abrasive on my skin. To get my makeup off, um, I use coconut oil. Ooh. This is a new bottle. I haven't used it yet. Um, I have like a giant tub in my sitting in my bathroom right now. Fun fact. Cats love coconut oil and it's actually really good for them because um, it's full of like saturated fats and th it, it like gives them the saturated fats that they need that they would normally get in the wild. Let me show you. Yeah, he loves that shit. I'll probably clean this before putting it on my face now. But yeah, I just like take a big scoop of it, put it, warm it up in my hands and just like put it all over my face, um, rub it in for a few minutes and then, not, well not a few minutes, like maybe like 10, 15 seconds, and then um, just take like a wet warm cloth and just 
wipe it all off and it takes off like 90% of my makeup and then the, my Clarisonic does the rest so I like it because it does the job it's like all natural it's 100% from coconuts pretty natural I also love it for my hair I put it in my hair after I come out of the shower I don't recommend it for people with greasy hair but for me who has like the driest hair ever my hair never gets greasy I can go like 10 days without washing it and won't get greasy I'll just like run it through the ends of my hair and it makes it really nice and soft and it works as like a heat protectant too I don't have a favorite moisturizer either um, I'm kind of just using random ones right now like my skin is like extremely dry but also combination I'll never get dry on my forehead or my chin I'm always really oily there but like my cheeks get the worst dry spots ever if you have any good moisturizers for my cheeks let me know now jumping randomly back to concealer um, concealer this is the NARS creamy concealer I mean I'm sure you've heard about it a million times but um, this is in the lightest color, obviously. And I just use it under my eyes and on my chin here and down my nose and like a little bit here. I'll do that whether or not I'm wearing foundation. If I'm wearing foundation, it'll just like help to brighten up my face. And if I'm not wearing foundation, then like it'll just work to also brighten up my face. But it like gives my face a little something extra that because I'm not wearing foundation, I want it to look a little brighter. You're so interested in what I have to say. Yes, next I'll go to brows. Um, I used to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I just stopped using it for some reason. Don't know why. I guess I'm more into like the bushy brow look. I like having pretty bushy eyebrows. So um, this gives me that bushy look. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's just got like a really teeny brush and it has like weird fibers in it that thicken your eyebrows but it also tints them which I really like. And then I use the Anastasia brow pen in Universal Deep. I will outline the bottom of my brow with the pen and fill it in a little bit at the end and then I'll go through the whole brow with the Gimme Brow. These together look a lot more natural than the uh, dip brow which I like. I'm into a more natural look right now. So, I don't know, I'll probably start using the dip brow again eventually, but I like this right now, so. I don't really have a favorite Holy Grail eye primer. I do like the Lime Crime eyeshadow brightener uh, because the packaging is cute, but also because it's like a white primer. I use it in like all my tutorials, and by all my tutorials, I mean two of them. Just a white primer, and it helps your eyeshadow to stay on longer <coughs> <coughs> I wouldn't say it's like my absolute favorite it's just what I use right now I have a couple of favorite eyeshadow formulations I don't really have any favorite eyeshadow colors I stick usually to like neutrals um, but my favorite eyeshadow formulation def well, one of them probably top number one I would say is uh, Kat Von, our Kat Von D eyeshadows. They're just really, really soft and lovely eyeshadows as I speak like a robot while I swatch. They're just very, very pigmented. They're very soft and it doesn't take a lot to get a lot of pigmentation as I wipe my hand on my pants. I'm also really, really into the Coastal Sense 252 palette. This thing is like $25 and it has 252 eyeshadows as the <sighs> name suggests. It's got three layers to it um, and they're just really beautiful pigmented shadows like for the cost that they are they're honestly like so gorgeous. I picked three random ones and I'm just gonna... they're just like so pigmented for and they're so they're, they're so cheap. There's so many shades in here that are so popular right now. Like this one here is like a kind of Marsala color. Super pretty. There are a lot of just like reds and burgundies that are super super popular right now. There's like a lot like if you don't if you don't want to buy the Lime Crime Venus palette these are better quality and there's clearly quite a selection. Oh yes you're so handsome. 
so handsome. I talked about this in my last video. It's the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Cool Contour Kit. Mine is broken, but they did send me a new one for free, so thank you to them. This is just a set of shadows. Um, this one's my favorite because it's the lightest one, shocker. But it's just a bunch of like taupey gray colors for your contour because your contour is supposed to look like a shadow so these make it more look like a shadow but sometimes it can make me look a little bit ashy so i do also like using um ilan masca powder eyeshadow and heroin either instead of the cool contour kit or like on top of it like i did today it's a cool toned taupe color you can use it as contour like i and many others do that one's pretty expensive, it's like 20 something dollars. Um, there's a NYX blush in taupe, which is basically the exact same color, but I find it to be not at all pigmented. Like I have to go over it with my brush like 8 million times to get any sort of pigmentation. For blush, um, I also really love the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs blush set. You can make like a custom palette or you can get like the pre-made one. These are just really pigmented, pretty blushes. I'll just swatch a few for you. My absolute favorite blushes are Ella Masca blushes. I'm really into this brand in case you cannot tell. This one is called Lover and it's like a peachy pink and they're so freaking pigmented. So gorgeous. I love them. My favorite eyeliners, um, I'd have to say for like a basic black liner, I'm going to go with the Urban Decay Perversion Liner just because it's pigmented and black and smooth and stays a very long time in your waterline. My favorite nude liner, I'm wearing it today, it is the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude. And if you want to make your eyes look bigger, this is just a really good way to do that. And just for like a random other favorite, uh, the Anastasia Metallic Luster Liner. This is so cool. It's like so metallic. Hang on, I'm just gonna, and then, okay. And this is just like the worst place to swatch it, but it's just really, really pretty. And they have like other colors too. Um, but yeah, if you're like placing an order with Anastasia, then I think they're on sale. I think I got that on sale for like $10. This is gonna be on my hand forever. I don't really have a favorite black with- oh my god, I can't speak. I don't really have a favorite black liquid liner. Um, right now I use the Stila one. Um, I like it, but I would prefer something like super waterproof. This says it's waterproof. They're lying. So if you have any suggestions for a pen, liquid, black eyeliner that is truly waterproof, let me know. Holy Grail brushes. Um, first, I would say the e.l.f. powder brush. It's just like a flat top kabuki brush. It's $3 and very dirty. I use it for my powder to like stamp my powder on my face and then like brush it off once it's settled into my face. I also use it to contour like the edge of it. Um, I also use it for blush sometimes. I don't know, it's very multi-use. I also love the crown brush. Um, C476 crease shadow brush. I got this in an ipsy bag and I mostly use this side just because it's really good for the crease. I'll just I'll just do that often. And another crease brush that I really enjoy is the Coastal Sense BRCN08. And it's just your basic crease brush, but it's got enough density but also length that it's like bendy enough but also works I like honestly I don't even know how to describe it it just sort of works really well my favorite mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara it's just the best mascara I've ever used um don't use it on your lower lashes though because it flakes like a motherfucker but if you use it on your top lashes it tends to be okay I'm wearing it currently but I'm also wearing false lashes so that's not really any, any indication. My favorite lash glue, random I know, but I just feel like everyone always talks about the duo lash glue. I hate it so hard. I'm getting very passionate about my hate for this fucking lash glue. I just feel like this company like paid a few popular YouTube people to be like yeah this lash glue is awesome and then everyone went out and tried it and it was like the first lash glue they ever tried and they were like okay and they didn't really know any better. 
like it's awful it takes probably it takes forever to dry you're sitting there like with your lashes just kind of chilling doing whatever waiting 80 years for it to dry and it just doesn't stick very well like my the front of my lashes always pop up when i use this so fuck you oh jojo i'm sorry so i've tried like a few other lash glues my favorite so far is the little Betty sephora one it this one like comes with the false lashes that they sell at sephora I don't think they sell this individually, which sucks because I would buy the shit out of it. But like one tube of this lasts you probably like at least 20 uses. Once you put the stuff on the lash band, you can just like put the lashes straight on. You don't have to wait for it to dry. It like stays on forever, like won't pop up. I don't, I don't know why that was, I don't know why I did that. I guess next I will go with lips. I do not know what I did before I discovered ColourPop. They're just the best lipsticks I have ever used in my whole life. A bunch of different finishes. There's matte and satin and matte, matte again and glossy. I'm wearing pitch on my lips. It's just like this really cool dark brown. Um, I'll just swatch a couple other ones. This is Flawless Cookie. Creature and Frenchie. I just watched four random ones that I just picked. They are just the nicest feeling, most beautiful lipsticks, and they're only five dollars each, and that's not even all the colors. There's probably like 20 more colors than this on the website, and each lipstick comes with a corresponding lip liner, which are equally as good, and I just cannot say enough good things about these lipsticks. The only shitty thing is shipping to Canada is $14, so if you do live in Canada, make a big order right off the bat because I've made four orders so far and I wish I just got all of them in one order instead of paying like extra for shipping. It's pretty shitty. But if you live in America, I think shipping's free over a certain amount, so that's good. I'm also pretty into like neutral, dark gray brown pinky lips lately um so honorable mention to mac lip liners um they're just i put them all over my lips this one is in stone pretty good pretty good i also like soar which is the kylie jenner lip they just like stay all day on your lips they're pretty much waterproof and eat proof and um they're just really really matte and they do dry out your lips a little but Oh, highlighter. I'm such an asshole. Going back to the face. This is my favorite highlighter. I've tried a million highlighters and I am really into like a very, very glowy, even if I'm doing a matte face, I want like a really highlighted cheekbone. And so far my favorite highlighter, highlighting kit, whatever, has been the e.l.f. shimmer palette. They're just, I'm not really sure if you can tell how shimmery they are they're just like this thing is three dollars there's like a pink a beige a different beige and like a white there you can kind of see it better like that it's like infinitely shimmerier than any other highlighter i've tried like i've tried the becca highlighters i've tried well it's all i can think of off the top of my head right now that's basically all i can think of right now like i do love like so many other products if i was stuck in like a really like nice city for ever and someone was like you need to pick one of each product category to have in the city with you forever uh pick that product it would be these products that I would pick. What? Bye, Joe!